Well, welcome back folks. Today is May 20th and we're just going to have a short tulip tutorial. I have my <laughs> faithful assistant with me right here and Sandra is going to describe uh, the tulips. So Sandra, tell us about what this red tulip in front of us now. <laughs> this red, red tulip is called Crispa. And that's all you can tell me? It's fringed. Mm -hmm. It's a fringe tulip, so they call those crispa, and this particular one is Masterpiece Crispa. All right, Masterpiece, and I see in the back here that these were just planted when I wasn't looking. Here are some pansies that were just planted a few days ago, is that right? Mm -hmm. There we go. And keep going. These are King Parrot. King Parrots, according to the Queen, the King, <laughs> according to the Queen <laughs> And this is Miami Sunset, the orange ones there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This, according to my walking encyclopedia, Miami, Miami Sunset. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, let's move along. And they are surrounded by creeping phlox. There you go. Which is a perennial. Creeping phlox. There you go. And as we just move along here, here are some examples of some roses that are just starting to develop. These were cut back to about eight inches. They will go to two feet, three feet. Uh, we still don't have any buds, so come back on June 20th and we'll show you these. Where are we going, dear? These are called pink size. Uh, what was that? Pink size. All right. And they're surrounded by grape hyacinths. And there are my favorite grape hyacinths. They look black. Are they black? What are they called? And these black tulips here are they're like they're really a deep, deep red. And they're called May night. 